Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math with Smart Tips. Today in this video, we are solving the questions from complex analysis of WB set 2022 mathematical science. And this is the fourth video of WB set 2022 mathematical science solution series. In the previous three videos, we are solving, uh, we are already solved the questions from ODE, PDE, uh, integral equation, linear algebra, modern algebra, uh, modern algebra and in this video contains also Laplace transform and Fourier transform. So this is the fourth video. Uh, those who are new, those who are not watching the videos, uh, I will share the link in the description and also here in the ITAP. So please check the link to watch the video. So let's get started and before starting the solution of this video, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share with your friends. So let's start. The first question it says that let a suffix minus 2 be the coefficients of 1 by z square in the Lorentz series expansion of fz of the function z plus 1 by z q into z square plus 1 around z equal to 0 in the region 0 less mod z less 1 then a minus 2 is equal to. Now it is given that this is the region therefore mod z is less than mod z is less than 1 and also therefore mod of z square mod of z square is also less than 1 therefore we simply expand this the this term 1 plus 1 by z square since z square less than 1 therefore we expand this uh, the Lorentz series in the form of 1 plus something this is the terms which is less than mod of this term is less than 1 therefore we simply expand this term 1 plus z square power minus 1 and this term remaining same so this is the expansion simply 1 plus z square plus z power 4 plus dot dot, dot. and this is equal to we, we divide this uh, two series in two series so this is equal to 1 by z square into this and 1 by z q into this now this series contains only the terms 1 by z square but this series does not contains the terms 1 by z square and from this series it is clear that the coefficient of 1 by z square is clearly 1 there since this term only first term only gives the term 1 by z square and no other term gives 1 by z square therefore 1 is the correct answer for this problem this is the correct answer option number a now go to the next question the question says that for the function if z equal to 1 minus exponential minus z by z the point z equal to 0 is n which type of singularity of this function the point z equal to 0 so we first uh, check the limit at z equal to 0 of the function fz and this gives simply 1 therefore limit is finite or limit exists finitely therefore we can say from uh, this the singularity is removable now our another way to show that this is the removable singularity first uh, we expand this is a Lorentz series expansion so this is the Lorentz series expansion of a function fz so the first part is called analytic part and the second part is called principal part around z equal to z0 now uh, where the value of a n and b n are given by this now from Lorentz series expansion if the principal part is not present in the Lorentz series expansion therefore the singularity gives simply removable singularity now we go to the question if we expand this in series form then we uh, get this series and simply 1 by z common and this is the simply series and the last line is this 1 minus z by 2 factorial plus z square by 3 factorial minus and so on we show that fz has no principal part about z equal to 0 therefore we can say that z equal to 0 is simply removable singularity since the principal part of the Lorentz series expansion is not present in this series expansion so this is clearly the removable singularity so option d is our correct answer now go to the next question the question uh, says that the residue of fz of this functions log of 1 plus z by 1 plus z square whole square at z equal to i now we first note that z equal to i is the pole of order 2 for this function 1 plus z square 
power square i is pole of order 2 now uh, the formula is to find the residue of a point a uh, is given by 1 by n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to a d dz power uh, d n minus 1 dz power n minus 1 z minus a power n into fz so we have to find the pole uh, residue at the point i therefore 1 by n uh, since i is pole of order 2 therefore the value of n should be 2 here so this is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial limit z tends to i d dz of z minus i square and log of 1 plus z by z plus i square into z minus i square now this z minus i square and z minus i square should be cancelled so this gives simply log of z minus z tends to iota 1 d dz of this function so this is equal to simple calculation this is simply derivative uh, and this gives 1 uh, i iota plus 1 whole square into 1 by 1 plus iota if we put the limit then this gives uh, minus this log one of 1 plus iota into 2 into 2 iota and 2 iota power 4 so this gives simply this is simple calculation and the last line becomes you check simply the, this is simple calculation you can check it so this gives uh, 2 upon 16 into 1 minus iota minus 1 by 4 iota into log of 1 plus iota now we find the real and imaginary part of this function log of 1 plus iota we know that log z equal to log r plus iota theta where z is the form of x plus iota y where r, r equal to root under x square plus y square and theta equal to tan inverse y by y by x here z equal to 1 plus iota therefore x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 and r equal to simply gives root under 2 and theta equal to gives pi by 4 therefore log of 1 plus iota equal to log of root 2 plus iota pi by 4 if we put the value of log of 1 plus iota this in this equation then we get 1 by 8 iota minus 1 so this gives simply 1 by 8 into iota minus 1 minus iota pi by 4 into log 1 plus iota means log root 2 plus iota pi by 4 and this is simply gives minus 1 by 8 plus pi by 16 plus iota into 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4 into log 2 this is the answer so which option here option b is the correct answer for this problem now go to the next question the next question says that the transformation w equal to e q power r dot theta z minus p by p bar z minus 1 where p is a constant then it maps mod of z minus uh, mod z less than 1 on 2 now first we note that this is the general form of bilinear transformation the linear transformation this is maps from a unit circle to an unit circle where mod of z0 less than 1. Now comparing our given transformation is w equal to e to power iota theta z minus p by p bar z minus 1. We can write this in the form of this. So these are two similar form. So this maps simply uh, mod of z minus mod z less than 1 to mod w less than 1 that is unit open disk to unit open disk where mod of p is less than 1 and this condition mod p less than 1 so this is the correct answer option number b maps mod of z minus 1 to mod of w less than 1 where mod of p less than 1 by our this so this is the correct answer for this problem now go to the next question question number question the question says that which of the following mapping is conformal everywhere now it is an easy question the concept behind this question is let fz be an analytic function of z in a region d uh, of z plane and f dash z not equal to zero inside d then the mapping w equal to fz is conformal at all points of d that means here we have to find a function which does not vanish its derivative term so here only one uh, function is given which is this w equal to exponential z we know that the function a derivative of this function exponential z never vanish so this is clearly the correct answer now go to the next question the question says that the function fz equal to mod z square 
uh, is <coughs> now we can write mod of z square this is equal to z into z bar now we use the concept uh, this is clearly continuous so no problem about continuity so it is continuous nowhere this is incorrect option continuous at originally no this is also incorrect answer continuous everywhere continuous everywhere these two options may be correct now we have to check the differentiability of the function now by the complex form of cr equation we know that del f del z bar equal to zero when then the function is differentiable now f z equal to given z of z bar now del of del f del z bar equal to simply z and this is zero when only when z equal to zero therefore this function f equal to mod z square is differentiable only when when z equal to zero therefore f is differentiable only at origin therefore the correct answer should be answer number c nowhere differentiable except at origin the function this is differentiable at origin only this is the correct answer go to the next question let gamma be an positive oriented circle whose center at origin then the value of the integral cos z by z square dz is yeah simply it is noted that uh, this is the pole of order 2 that means 0 is the pole of order 2 now by cos integral formula integral over gamma fz by z minus a if a is the uh, pole of order n then 2 pi r time into a power n nth derivative of f at the point this by n factorial now here our uh, pole is the point 0 the value of n equal to 1 and fz equal to cos z that means integral over gamma cos z by z square dz equal to 2 pi r time into f dash 0 by n factorial that means 1 factorial and f dash z means minus of sin z at point 0 this gives sin 0 and this gives simply 0 so 0 is our correct answer for this problem so this is the last question from the uh, in this video how was the video if the video is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you friends see you again in the next video thank you